Welcome back to CTV Morning Live, our Ask the Expert segment with the Scottish and Irish store. Michael Cox joining us once again, 789-6559, extension 2803. If you're looking to get some questions in uh, via the phone, you can always send us a message via our Facebook, via our Twitter, via email. Nice little change. And out comes one table, out, comes, right. uh, in, out comes another one. And, and Look at this display. I know, it's amazing the amount, well the amount of food we have is about 1,300 lines of food. So we carry, we bring containers of food in. Uh, we virtually, both stores have a grocery store in each, in each shop, yeah, and uh, and it's amazing how fast the food has grown for us because everybody wants their taste of Britain or Ireland, and uh, when those containers come in, customers flock into the shops. I can imagine they're grabbing maybe one, uh, you know, more than one item at well, a time when they find their favorite thing coming in. It's hilarious when people come in; they'll come up with a basket saying, "I just came in for the one thing," mm -hmm. and they fill up a whole basket. And then you're making another order yes. <laughs> overseas. Yeah, exactly. And and one thing I find, like if we just over here with the teas. These are only a few. We have about uh, 40 to 45 different teas that we carry. Scots, Irish, English, Welsh. We have Welsh teas what? as well. What is it about the teas? Uh, I mean, that there's that much variety and there's that much yeah. enjoyment. Well, it, it's, you know, it's, tastes. I mean, I, I'm a tea drinker and more mm -hmm. and more people are going to tea. It just has a, a very pleasant taste. And you can taste uh, all the different teas you have. Um, you can taste a difference between all the blends. And that's what people have their preference. They like PG tips or they like Thai foo or Yorkshire or Barry's tea. Like on the Irish teas, we, like we just got another shipment in from Barry's. We get it right in from County Cork. Uh, and it goes very, very quickly. Uh, as well as we uh, brought in uh, teas, a lot of Scottish teas, Brodies uh, in Musselboro, outside of Edinburgh, Edinburgh mm -hmm. tea. Uh, so we get, you know, for instance, they have the, uh, we have a whiskey flavored tea, oh, heather tea, thistle tea. Uh, I mean, there's so many teas, uh, even on the twinings, They've really gone to the herbal teas, and just a few. We have about 25 or 26 different herbal teas. They have black currant burst, licorice, uh, you know, raspberry, strawberry, and uh, uh, mango and strawberry. It's just there's so many different flavors that people come in. I can imagine what it's like going to tea at a restaurant over there. You know, when they well, they come out with that box, you know, exactly. the box of teas, and it's like, where do you even start? So exactly. lots of great things for people and then, to sample there. And then of course there. with tea, biscuits. you have to have biscuits. So we've got the Tunnock wafers, which are big ones, penguins the club orange, uh, the Tunnix tea cakes, these are all things that people just, as soon as they see it, they recognize them right away and we go through lots of them. Uh, I mean, we have the Marks and Spencer's ginger snaps, hobnobs or oat biscuits, they're great. You know, I think what's, what's funny is that people have probably come into the store for other items and oh, then yeah. maybe actually traveled then to Scotland, Ireland and then had a taste of this and then realized exactly. they've seen this product for years in the store but until they'd actually tried it, they didn't realize that, just and how it's much the same they loved thing. it. I didn't bring any chocolates, so I'll do that in another segment. Oh, but, really? Because uh, I did oh, see this. Well, that's I was just, like, that's well, how just, did this not make on the Guinness table? That's the Guinness, I just bring because that just came in and those go very, very quickly. They, cause so uh, we just can't keep those in stock. So I have the Baileys and the Guinness because that came in on our Ireland order just recently last week. So they'll go fast. And of course, then we have all the different, uh, you know, uh, toffees and fudges and gardeners in Scotland. You see all the tins in the back. Yeah. So right, they have all the whiskey fudges and they are just great. I love the packaging they, of this. They, they, so look at this. The look at this packaging. The, the, it's brilliant. Yeah, the Bruins is a, a, a favorite comic uh, strip in uh, in Britain. And so Ur Woolley is, is, is one of the brunes. So they started, they started to produce these because there's a lot of people that have the nostalgia about these uh, comics. Well, and you'd save these. These would oh, be tins that you'd that, These are collector's items. And that's it. And, and, you know, and they, we go through those in uh, every couple of uh, containers will bring a new shipment in because they won't last too long. Caramel, uh, a, whiskey. Oh, the Glen Farkless, yeah. That's wow, that, a lot of the old malt, whiskey, single malts, mm -hmm. which is great because, again, you can just taste that slightly different uh, of the malt that's in the, in the fudge. Oh yeah, the taverners, uh, the fruit drops. And people came in, they had those in their kids, and they'd say, I'm not sure what it's a hard candy, it's got white powder on it. The that is exactly what I just thought. I'm like, this just reminds me of my childhood. That's right. Uh, yeah. Some wonderful products, and of course, uh, people come in and they expect to see, you know, the different garments and the different shirts and all this stuff, and there is a massive segment uh, section well, uh, for all of the different uh, foods. Up, but the yeah. one thing is potatoes are the crisps. We call them potato chips, yes. but there they call them crisps. Yes. And the potatoes just came in from Ireland, and our Irish customers flock in. For the cheese and onion flavor? Yeah, because the I'm wondering what the Worcester sauce tastes like. The Worcester, Worcester Actually, Worcester you know what? The Walkers, like. they taste oh exactly God. like they say. <laughs> Steak and onion, smoky bacon. Crazy. They taste exactly like that. Okay, we're going to do a quick uh, changeover on the tables. We're going to take a look at uh, some of the more feminine things that you have uh, carried in the store. Uh, so, uh, lots more to come here on CTV Morning Live with Michael Cox from the Irish and uh, from the Scottish and Irish store. All the information listed there as to how you can get a hold of us. And, of course, they do have the two locations. 
Uh, one at 194 Robertson Road, the other 1713 Sailor Boulevard. Always go shopping on their website, www.scottishandirishstore.com.